Hi, I'm Mark Adams. In March of 2014, just before a road game at George Mason, Duquesne's Derek Coulter reported a small lump on his neck to the athletic trainer at Duquesne. From that day on, his life began to change. A biopsy was ordered right after the last game in the A-10 tournament. The result was clear. Derek Coulter had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Upon hearing the news, Coulter felt his life suddenly stop. His mother cried, and his dad just stared straight ahead. Coulter knew he had to compete. It was now time for the younger brother, who was born healthy, to show the determination and grace of his older brother, J.J., who lived his entire life with cerebral palsy. J.J. never spoke a word or walked a day in his life, but he had set an example of toughness before he died in 2012 for his younger brother to follow, especially now. Coulter would be treated in Pittsburgh. He would continue his education at Duquesne, and he would fight his disease as a member of the Duke's basketball team. If attitude is truly paramount when facing a dreaded disease like cancer, then Derek Coulter's attitude was certainly part of the cure. He was one part discipline, one part determination, and one part champion just like his brother JJ. His discipline showed in his ability to keep his schedule both in the classroom and on the court. He battled through 20 consecutive weekday radiation treatments at Shadyside Hospital in Pittsburgh during the summer of 2014. Coulter continued his normal student life in his dorm room and his workout regimen throughout. Last season, Coulter led Duquesne in scoring. Derek Coulter is a cancer survivor and is now the star senior guard of the Duquesne Dukes. He regularly visits pediatric cancer patients at Pittsburgh area hospitals. Derek Coulter is a winner, and we're proud to present him on the American Sports Network.